Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me for this week's Fun Fact Friday. Today, we're going to be going over third-party integration and webhooks. I know we've gotten a late start on today, and I apologize. I was having some technical difficulties, um, but I'm really happy that you could make it. I'm Rebecca, and I'm part of the Allison James Estates and Home Support Team. We go live on Facebook every Friday at 10 a.m. PST to discuss different ways for you to improve in your real estate business. We've been focusing on KB Core these past few weeks, and I'm really excited about it. It's a great platform for all of our Allison James agents to be able to use. If you have any questions or comments about what we're going to be talking about today, I would love to talk about them with you. Just post them in the comment section below, and I'll get to that at the end of this video, and um, just know that you can always reach out to me here at the corporate office as well. So, again, third-party um, integration and web hooks. We're gonna be going over the basics today. And um, I know you're probably wondering, what is a web hook? Well, a web hook is a link that is sent from one computer to another. When this link is used, it can trigger automated service that uses information in the link to do something special to a third party extension. So if you're going to be using um, in your smart campaigns, and that's where we're gonna be at today is the smart campaigns, um, you're going to be wanting to have you know, your initial email and then you can maybe send a slide dial um, broadcast or a voicemail straight to that client as soon as you have that person sent in as a lead. Or possibly if you wanted, you could um, have uh, any, any third-party application in Zapier, um, which is another wonderful website that we're going to kind of dive into a little bit today. Again, we're going to go over the basics, and um, that's kind of where they have all the third-party extensions on there as well that uh, is going to be really useful for you guys in your real estate business. So let's kind of get started. So I'm going to go and jump into our KB Core platform over here. Um, we're going to get started under Marketing Autopilot. So I'm going to select Marketing Autopilot today. And we're going to go into Smart Campaigns because you're going to want to build this into your Smart Campaign. So I'm going to start with Start a Campaign and select on here. Uh, now, again, a webhook is going to be anything that you could talk to a third party extension or anything that has a um, API or a webhook integration into the um, application. So that's just a little side note. So we're gonna be in campaign library today as well as templates, okay? And this is where I'm just gonna show you where to have a webhook um, and we kind of just gather a little bit more information on what it really can do. So in here in your templates, this is of course where you're gonna be able to add in any of your canned responses um, that are custom to you or um, any text messages, calls, tasks, that kind of thing. So today we're gonna to focus on webhooks. So I'm gonna select webhooks here. Now underneath here, this is where I created one which um, I was kind of playing around with it, and I think this is going to be an extremely useful tool for all of you guys. I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm just going to go here to Add Template, and you're just going to add the webhook in here when you have that webhook um, URL code. Um, and it's really going to be kind of just like a smart code or an API code um, for integration. You're going to be able to put the webhook name in here. Um, so like I was doing a seller um, postcard. So if I wanted to send out a seller's postcard and then the webhook scope will be myself. Well, this is says Tori. And then the URL is what you'll be receiving or gathering from that third party, and you're going to put that in here. Now, the query par params, this is what you're going to be wanting to grab that information to be able to send. So if you're going to do a postcard, you would want to have the lead first name, and you add first name in here. And then add a last name.
and then you would add a um, address. There it is, because this is what you're going to be sending out. Now, again, we're kind of just getting into the basics again today. Um, so I would have that URL put in here and add that webhook below. Now, one of the really amazing, useful tools for marketing um, and kind of helping you put your marketing on autopilot is Zapier. Um, Zapier has over a thousand apps um, and they do offer a 14 free day um, or 14 day free <laughs> trial. Um, but you will be able to create zaps with Zapier to be able to trigger um, the action. And then once you trigger that action, it's then going to create the action to send. And then once that action sends out, then you'll be getting the, um, that then that will be triggered from, of course it, it would be for uh, KV Core, but you'll be receiving it from Zapier of course too. Um, next week we're really gonna dive into more of Zapier, but I really kind of wanted to get into just some of the basics today and allow you to create um, at least a free Zapier account for yourself. There's a lot of really great um, information here for you guys to be able to dive into too on Zapier. Again, it's a free 14 day trial. Um, they do also have a free forever trial. Well, not free forever trial, but a free forever plan. Um, but it's just for uh, building one-to-one -one connections with your apps and automate basic tasks. So here with the premium plan, you'll be able to get premium tools to build advanced workflows or premium plans to give you the tools that automate more so you can work less. So I believe that you would want to probably purchase the premium plan, but again, you can start your free 14-day trial up here. Um, you're going to want to go to zapier.com to do that. Um, you can use, again, any other website that does have an API or allows a webhook integration. Um, now if I'm going to scroll up here, um, this is going to be really useful for you guys and utilizing KV Core. It's a little bit more of an advanced thing for um, some of you agents, but it's going to be amazing and I know you can do it. All right. So now again, there's, you know, you could send postcards, you can send voicemails, you can send... Um, really anything that a third-party action would allow you to, okay? From here, once you build in that Zapier information, you're going to add the webhook. And I'm just using that as an example. And then you're going to go into your campaign library and then add a campaign. So you would set this when your campaign or when your lead is new. So if you wanted to send this to a um, new seller, um, you would want to do that and move on to next when the seller is new. Next, add details. Um, Seller, new postcard, new lead postcard. Next, add campaign. All right, so then you would be able to have that campaign in your library, um, and then you would be able to utilize that. Again, it's a very useful tool for um, all of the agents to be able to use, and I highly recommend for you guys to get a little bit more familiar with it, and next week we're really gonna dive into the more advanced part of it. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime here at the corporate office. You may schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me anytime by using calendly.com backslash Allison James Inc. And I would be more than happy to schedule a KV Core one-on-one -on -one with you and speak with you about 
lead gen, smart CRM, how to build a campaign, anything like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything we've gone over on um, Facebook. And if you just want to kind of go over the basics, I definitely recommend um, scheduling a one-on-one -on -one with me so we can do that, okay? And you can always reach out to me again at the corporate office. But other than that, I hope you guys all have a great weekend. And I thank you all for joining me today on today's Fun Fact Friday. And I can't wait to see you guys all next week. Bye-bye.